This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Republicans don't learn from the past. In many, many ways, they don't learn from past mistakes. They don't learn from the mistakes of history. They don't learn from their own mistakes. And they're continuing to act in a pattern of denying that Donald Trump is a white supremacist, that Donald Trump is a, an autocratic wannabe. Quoting uh, Adolf Hitler, using language that is reminiscent of words directly pulled from Mein Kampf. We have witnessed horrendous racism and racist statements from Donald Trump from day one coming down the escalator that the Mexicans are all rapists and, and they're here to kill us. But I assume some are good people, he said. And now continuing to prove the claim that I've made for months that the 2016 version of Donald Trump had to be outdone by the 2020. And now the 2020 version of Donald Trump has to be outdone by the 2024 version. And he's ramping up the white supremacy rhetoric, the genocidal rhetoric, quoting, using the same words as Adolf Hitler with the, uh, the blood, the, these immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. They're coming from all over the world and then names the, the only countries where there are not predominantly white people. He's not talking about Norway or Sweden. He's talking about South American countries, African countries, Asian countries. Here, watch this. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world. They're coming into our country from Africa, from Asia, all over the world. They're pouring into our country. Nobody's even looking at them. They just come in. Uh, the crime is going to be tremendous. All of this is, is white supremacist language white nationalist language, white identitarian language about the blood, blood and soil, Jews will not replace us. All of this is hand in hand. And Donald Trump is not only embracing it, he's repeating it and being supported for it. Not in spite of it, because of it. A massive percentage of Iowa voters have indicated through polling that they're more likely to support Donald Trump based on these comments. The giant camps at the border, 50% said they're more likely to support Donald Trump. The root out the vermin, the rats, again, the same language used by the Nazi party they're more likely to support him. And 42% of Iowa voters, prospective Republican Iowa, Iowa voters, say, yeah, we're more likely to vote for him with all this poisoning the blood of our country language. And the other day, there was a, there was a maybe it was yesterday, uh, Abby Phillip on CNN interviewed Nicole Maliotakis, a Republican from New York, who is doing the thing that I opened the video talking about, which is just repeating the same actions and doing the same thing and acting as though Donald Trump isn't a racist, isn't a white supremacist, isn't a dangerous, violent demagogue. They play the clip that I just played for you and then Abby begins to ask this woman about what, what it is that she still supports about Donald Trump and why she's not calling him out for this. And you will not believe how this entire thing just disintegrates before your eyes. She destroys herself by looking like the idiot she is, refusing to admit the reality of what he said. Well, no, I think he's talking about policy. He's not. Oh, no, I think he's talking about the border. He's not. He's talking about immigrants, immigration, poisoning the blood of our country. Look, I'll start off by simply asking, is Trump right? that immigrants are poisoning the blood of this country. Well, I don't think that's what he was saying. When he said they are poisoning, I think he was talking about the democratic policies. I think he was talking about the open border policy. And if you look at what my mayor, our mayor here in New York City is saying, that this migrant crisis is destroying New York City, 
I think it's pretty much the same thing. What we're trying to say here is that we need to have secure borders. You know what's actually poisoning uh, America is the amount of fentanyl that's coming over our open border. And so this is a really serious issue, and I think that that's what he's uh, talking about, that the open borders are unsafe, that it's unsustainable, well, and, it's, and it's bankrupting cities like ours, and we need to address it. Congresswoman, you're saying that's what you think he's saying, but he was pretty clear. He was saying that the immigrants who are coming in, he says they're po they're poisoning yes. the blood of the nation, he says. Never said immigrants they're doing are poisoning, it. though. He's talking about people I, I, coming I across honestly the think it was being quote, we just played yeah. it. Yeah, and he said, he didn't say the words the immigrants. I think he was talking about the democratic policies. He was talking poison. about people, okay. well, look, not policies. I don't, he was talking about people. Look, I, I know that some are trying to make it seem like President Trump is is anti-immigrant. The reality is he was married to immigrants. He's hired immigrants. I mean, he's not, it's, it's, it's he's, he, he was wants, talking about people yeah. coming across the border. He was yeah, saying they're coming that over the border. They, mm -hmm. He was saying that they were, uh, that they were, uh, they were bringing crime. They were bringing, you know, violence with them but when they came true. into the country. They're, that they, is what they're, they, So, well, you agree that he's minute. talking about immigrants. Well, no, then. but but the thing is, is that the thing is, 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 is that you're terrible at this, Nicole Maliotakis. You are not good at this. We witnessed what he said. We've read what he has repeated on Truth Social. He's talking about immigrants, people coming from other countries where th they're emptying out their mental hospitals and their prisons. Is that policy of the Democratic Party that he's talking about? No. And to try to cover for him is either you yourself are a white supremacist or you don't mind carrying water for them. It continued and it didn't get any better. Let's talk for a second here about the fact that Trump continuously, repeatedly mm -hmm. uses this rhetoric that now, maybe you could say the first time he didn't know the, the references, the parallels mm -hmm. to authoritarians, he knows now. Why does he keep saying it over and over again? Well, look, I, I just think he's trying to bring attention to the issue. He's using and the I, rhetoric and I would of authoritarians say, look, I, to bring attention I mean, to this that's, issue? I, I think what the important thing is we need to pay attention to this issue. I mean, look, let's admit what's going on here in this country. Let's do admit what's going on here in this country. You know, Nicole Maliotakis, let, let's admit it. That Donald Trump is a demagogue. Donald Trump is dangerous. Donald Trump is whipping the toothless, low-information horde of cult adherents at his disposal into a frenzy. This encourages attacks on immigrant groups in this country. This encourages attacks on Jews in this country. It, we've witnessed right-wing motivated attacks all across the globe since Donald Trump came on the scene. Fact, unassailable fact. And the fact that you are defending this, uh, call, creating a diversion, like, no, 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 that's not what he's talking about. What I think he's talking about, we know what he's talking about. We all have the commonality of language and we can hear what he is saying. And it continued, and believe it or not, it gets worse. Uh, Trump is using the rhetoric yeah. of Hitler and Mussolini to make a point about people coming across the border illegally. Don't you think that's a bit well, of a distraction? I, I disagree. I disagree with what you're saying. I just fundamentally disagree. I think what he was saying is that the democratic policies, the policies of this administration that have allowed millions of people, including, remember, we caught people on the terror watch list. That should be concerning to us in New York City in a post 9-11 world. I mean, we, we, we have to be serious about what's going on. I think that what he was saying is uh, that. No, we know what he was saying. In fact, that's a hell of a side-by-side. -side. That's a hell of a screenshot to put up while you're talking. From a quote from Mein Kampf, all great cultures of the past perished only because the originally creative race died out from blood poisoning. Juxtaposed against Donald Trump, immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. And while you defend him, the words are juxtaposed next to one another, next to your face. The Republican Party will stop at nothing 
to defend and make excuses for Donald Trump. And then after atrocities are committed, then they'll, oh, what, we didn't know? Oh, there's a lot at stake in 2024, a lot at stake. This 2024 version of Donald Trump must be stopped. And the only manner with which we can do it, you and me, is at the ballot box. We can let the court play out, the court cases play out, but we don't have a role in that. What we have a role in is getting our neighbors, our acquaintances, our family, our friends, new people we meet to get involved and vote. What do you think about this? I would toss it to you. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you appreciate what I do and you want to help support this work, this very work, you can click the join button below for two bucks a month. You can become a channel member, hit the super thanks button, or go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me on social media. If that's your thing, I'm at Dollamore everywhere, and I'd love to see you there. Uh, until next time, be genuine, take care of one another.